In this video, we will be looking at when a prime Calvin Johnson dominated a prime Patrick Peterson. Let's start the video. On December 16th, during week 15 of the 2012 NFL season, a legendary wide receiver versus cornerback matchup quietly took place when the Lions traveled to Arizona to face the Cardinals. This battle was between a Hall of Fame wide receiver and an all-time great cornerback, Calvin Johnson versus Patrick Peterson. Heading into this matchup, Calvin Johnson was playing great. At this point in his career, he had already established himself as one of the very best wide receivers in the league. Through the first 14 weeks of the 2012 season, he had over 1,500 receiving yards, plus standing at 6'5", 237 pounds, and able to run a 4'3", 40-yard dash. He is just as big as Tony Gonzalez, while also being just as fast as Deshaun Jackson. His size and speed made him a matchup nightmare for opposing defensive backs. Although, if there is one cornerback in the league that could hang with Calvin Johnson, it would be Patrick Peterson. In the 2011 NFL Draft, Patrick Peterson was drafted 5th overall and immediately set the league on fire. In his first season, he had one of the best rookie years of all time, earning a Pro Bowl and an All-Pro nomination. Adding to that, this is a list that shows the top 10 players in NFL history in approximate value during their rookie season. Approximate value is a stat that combines all stats. Out of all the rookies to ever play in the NFL, Patrick Peterson in 2011 has the highest approximate value of all time. Plus, similar to Calvin Johnson, Patrick Peterson is also a freak of nature. In his rookie season, he led the league in punt return yards and touchdowns, took multiple snaps on offense, and shut down wide receivers week in and week out. He was able to do it all on the football field. That type of play continued into the 2012 NFL season. Recording six interceptions by week 15, Patrick Peterson was on fire, and he knew he had to shut down Calvin Johnson. He said in an interview, I believe it's definitely going to be a huge measuring stick for me because statistically, he's the number one receiver right now in the NFL. Patrick Peterson had his eyes set on being the best cornerback in the league, which is not good news for Calvin due to the fact that he was chasing a piece of NFL history. In 1995, Jerry Rice set the record for most receiving yards in a single season with 1,848. Since then, the record has held with almost no threat to changing until Calvin Johnson in 2012. Entering into week 15 against the Cardinals, he had 1,546 receiving yards. With three games left in the season, he is 302 yards away. Not only is he going to have to play great, but he will have to do it against one of the best cornerbacks the league has to offer. If Patrick Peterson shuts down Calvin Johnson, then the record will most likely be out of reach. On a Sunday in week 15 of the 2012 NFL season, a matchup is taking place where a NFL legend is trying to chase history, while a young star is looking to make a name for himself. Finally, it is time for Calvin Johnson and Patrick Peterson to go at it. Calvin Johnson played great, catching for 121 receiving yards in total. Although, 
Patrick Peterson did get an interception on Calvin Johnson, he also gave up 9 catches and 112 receiving yards while guarding him. Calvin Johnson was unstoppable against one of the best cornerbacks the league has to offer. The Cardinals did win the game, but Calvin was still on track to break the record. And the very next game in week 16 against the Atlanta Falcons, Calvin Johnson had 225 receiving yards and broke the record. Officially capturing a piece of NFL history and going down as one of the most impressive wide receiver seasons in NFL history. That individual matchup that took place left an impact in the record books and showing how truly special Calvin Johnson is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, I'll see you guys next time.